It's been another hot minute since I've recorded anything, and I apologize, not that I think that anybody's like sitting around waiting for me to make a video, but it has been a hot minute, and um, the reason being is just like I had planned on doing another empties video, and honestly, like I had so much crap in there that I just threw it away and decided to start over, and I'll do another empties video when that fills up, but like I just was not motivated to film it. And also, I got a full-time job that I'm gone for pretty much 12 hours a day. So when I get home, the last thing I really want to do is sit down and film a video when all I want to do is put, like, sweatpants on and read a book. So that's why I've been gone for a long time. But I have some stuff that I'm so excited about. And I know I'm filming this a little bit early because November still has another couple of days. But I just wanted to get it up. And be done with it because these things have me so excited that I wanted to talk about them. Um, the first thing, and I can definitely say this has probably been my favoriteest favorite, is the Beauty Blender. And I am so obsessed with this. I cannot begin to explain how much I love this tiny little pink sponge. And for those of you that are like, oh, there's other beauty sponges out there. There's other things that I can buy that are less expensive. This is so worth the $19.50 or whatever it is that it costs. Uh, mine's filthy because I've just used it today. But this thing has changed my life. It, I don't even use my brushes anymore. Like I was using the Real Techniques brush, um, the Expert Face brush. I was using this to apply foundation before and I really do like this, but after using this, I don't even want to use it. Um, I also use it um, for my under eye concealer. I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Brightener. And I just use the little pointy side and do it under my eyes. And it's just, my face looks airbrushed. It looks even. I don't have any streaks. It's just amazing. This little tool has completely changed the way I do my makeup. And also, I got the um, Beauty Blender Solid to clean it with and that also is really great. So if you're on the fence about the Beauty Blender and you think you have one that's like similar, um, just go ahead and buy the actual Beauty Blender. It's amazing. And I can say that I have the Real Techniques brush or the Real Techniques sponge as well and they say that this is similar. This is not. This is not even close. I mean, it's a good sponge but if you're wanting to compare it to the Beauty Blender, it's not similar at all. So. Just getting that out there. Uh, and then the next thing is the foundation that I've loved and I discovered probably at the end of October. Um, but it's the L'Oreal True Match. I had waited a long time to get it and I don't really know why I did. I think it was just because there were so many shades and I had so many other foundations that I just didn't want to go ahead and purchase it. But I went ahead and got it. I got the um, N2 Neutral, which is perfect for me and that surprises me because for the longest time I thought I was like more cool tone more like pink undertones but I think I'm more neutral because this is the exact shade for my face I don't have it on today I have on the I've just been trying it out the covergirl ready set gorgeous which I like but this has been my favorite to apply with the beauty blender I love this foundation it's amazing the only thing I really don't like is it's not really travel friendly it doesn't have uh, like a pump or something you have to unscrew it and then put it on your hand but like since I have the sponge anyway that I'm using with it it's fine whatever I love it though that foundation is amazing and it's probably the best drugstore foundation I have ever used uh, the third thing is something that I have I dreamt about before I bought it. I wanted it so bad. Um, is the Rock Pro. I've been pretty much using this exclusively f since I got it. Uh, I have not really reached for my Naked palettes since I purchased this. Uh, it's had a lot of love. I think anybody who watches YouTube videos has probably seen it. It is so worth the money. Like, I think it's actually a little bit less than... The naked palettes because the naked palettes are like 54 and this was 42 but it has eight mattes and eight shimmers and I've already put a good dent in a couple of these but I'm wearing it today um, and I have on garnet and gold and then um, I just blended the cream color right there which I use a ton as like an under uh, brow highlight and an inner corner highlight but 
it's amazing. Like the fallout, yeah, there's a lot of fallout and the palette gets pretty dirty, but this is so great. I just cannot sing this palette's praises enough. And I, if you're wondering, like if you're gonna get a high-end palette and you don't have any of the Nakeds or the Lorocs and you're on the fence about which one you wanna get, I would say go for the Lorac Pro. I have had both the Naked and this and I would reach for this over the Naked palettes any day. So. This is amazing, and it's so travel friendly. It's just, I've traveled with it several times um, since I got it, and it's just really easy to throw in a purse or a bag or whatever, and I love it. Really do. Um, and then I have a blush favorite. This is my first NYX blush. I looked at them for a long time and wanted to get one, and I just never did. And then I was in CVS one night. I just was being wild on a Friday night and went to CVS. To look at their beauty stuff and they started carrying my CVS anyway started carrying like NYX stuff and I had no idea that they carried NYX products but that's gonna save me a trip to Ulta because I hate going to my Ulta because the employees are so rude but this is the shade peach and it is so pretty it's uh though I was looking at getting the Bobbi Brown apricot for a really long time and this is really similar to that it's just that nice I don't have it on right now, but it's a really nice, just come out of the cold, like bitten shade on your cheeks. And it's just really natural. And I'm really fair, and it looks natural on me, so that's saying something. So this is really great. Um, I would check at your CVS to see if they have like a little NYX booth thing, kind of like how they do with Wet n Wild, because that's where I found mine. So that's really awesome that they're carrying that now. And then I have lip favorites. I have an announcement to make. I had never used lip liner at all before last month, but I went and I got three of the NYX, I don't even know what they're called. I think they're just the lip liner pencils. I have to sneeze. Um, I got the Hot Red and then Pinky Rose and uh, Plum. And it's just these like three staple shades. I have on this um, hot red today under the NYX La uh, Matte Lip Cream in Ibiza. And it's really nice. I mean, I'm really pleased with it. But I don't know how I've used any kind of dark color <laughs> before I had a lip liner. Like that is crazy to me. But these are really great. Um, they're just like easy to use. They're really creamy. They stay on for a fairly long time. I mean, I I'll take one to work with me. Uh, to like reapply after I eat something or whatever, but I, you would do that with any kind of like dark lip color anyway, so uh, that's not an issue to me, but I just really like lip liner. I never would have thought. And uh, one color that I have used with this NYX Plum color is another NYX product, and it's the Simply Vamp Lip Pencil. Um, this is the shade, I think it's Bewitching, yeah, Bewitching. And it's just like a dark like vampy purple and I would kind of relate this to like Lord's lip color which I'm obsessed with I love her I love everything about her but this color is just really like burgundy almost like an ox blood uh if you follow me on Instagram Paul's fitter if you're looking for it um I took a picture with this on like a week or two ago and I love it and I got so many compliments on it at work it was just really flattering it didn't make me look like a ghost which is awesome and I just was really impressed so this is these are really awesome they're just like little screw up lip pencils and they're pretty matte uh, they're not I'd say maybe like a I don't know like a semi matte uh, it's not super super shiny but it's not super duper drying and matte so really nice and then my fragrance favorites are the um, Elizabeth and James Nirvana perfumes. Oh my gosh. I got the white one first because after reading the notes online of what this was, I went to smell it in Sephora and fell in love. And I was like, okay, well, I'll get the rollerball because just to make sure I really like it. And I have been wearing this so much. I love that it's got like peony uh, notes to it, which I love. And then I went and got, because I just was so obsessed with it, I went and got the black one too. And the black one is a little more masculine. And I wasn't a super big fan of it when I first smelled it, but on my skin, it's like, it kind of transforms. And together, mixed together, these smell so 
good. Uh, so I asked for the full sizes for Christmas. I'm hoping to get both full sizes because just mixed together, like that's such a cool concept to have two perfumes from Mary Kate Nashley, which hello, that like are good on their own. They're great by themselves, but together they just transform and are so nice. So I just, I'm really impressed with these. So I can't wait to see if I get the full sizes for Christmas. And then I have two like random favorites. I have a TV show, which is on Netflix. There's like a million seasons of it on Netflix, but Criminal Minds, I've been so obsessed with Criminal Minds. I've been watching it pretty much nonstop. And I kind of have like a little tiny crush on uh, Dr. Reed on that show. I don't know his actual name. Uh, but that I don't know the actor's name, but Dr. Reed on that show, he's like a young profiler. I just, I kind of like him. And it's just a really good show. Like if you like Law & Order, uh, SVU or uh, CSI or stuff like that, it's just a little better than that to me because it's more like the behavioral analyst unit. Uh, so it's like profiling serial killers and stuff. It's just really good. So I like that, and there's like nine seasons of it on Netflix. And then the other favorite is a podcast, um, and it's called Serial. It's through, um, I think it's through Our American Life, um, and it's just so good. It's a week-to-week -week story of an actual cold case from 1999 with a young girl who was killed, and her boyfriend was convicted but the story is kind of going through and showing that, well, maybe he didn't do it and maybe he did. And it's just so intriguing. Like, I wait every Thursday for a new episode to come out so I can listen to it. And it's just, like, really neat. It's free and you can download the app onto, like, any device pretty much and you can listen to it. And they're normally around 45 minutes long, but it's so good. I cannot say enough good things about it. And it's just, like, it makes you think, too, about just the... Um, prison system and our uh, police system and just everything like that because they just it just brings up a whole lot of questions with how that investigation was done so that's really good and those are all my favorites I that's all I've got and I I'm glad I finally sat down and did this because all of these things I cannot say enough good things about so I guess I will just talk to you guys in my next video